everybody, I'm Midnight. And I'm Blaze. And welcome to a Let's Play of the Ninja Kids on the Tato Legends of, on PS2. We just happened to pick this up at a gaming thrift store. Daxter, get your attitude out of here. He's fussing us because we've been recording too long. Yeah. Anyway, you want to explain the concept of the Ninja Kids? Well, I'll just read the game description. Four ninjas with different abilities attempt to save the town from an onslaught of Satanists and their evil overlord. Jump, kick, and fight your way through the waves of satanic enemies as one of the four ninja kids. This is actually a two-player game, so we will be playing together. Oh, no. <laughs> You're going to have fun. So square is your ninja power. You jump, attack. It's pretty simple. Okay. So I'll be player one for this experience. Midnight's going to be player two. It's usually the other way around. In the seventh month of 1999, a great king of terror flied down. Flied down? It's one of those. Flied hey. down. Hey. Oh my hey. god, those hey. fucking bases! So, remember when I was talking about the credit noise? Listen. No! Because I accidentally filled it. Well, there's a voice. The viewers at home will be able to hear it. I'll show you it later. But the voice of the, the credit noise is not like a cha-ching or a ding. He goes... Thank you. <laughs> That's weird. So you do it over and over again. He's like, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen. So okay, I want player, so wait, player one, one or two player button. Well, I'm in. Now you hit like the X button or something. There we go. Okay. I'm going to be. I want to be fire. I'm going to be Hanzo. He's the katana so. user. He's pretty balanced stats and close range weapon. You use shuriken. Oh, so yay. your attacks are kind of weak, but you can hit from a distance. <laughs> oh no! Ha! That's our master. He's pretty cool. Daxter, you are the opposite of our master. <laughs> you will be servants of the Satan. <laughs> this town is ours. Chapter 1, An Aimed Town. Alright, let's do this shit up. You start out with a ninja scroll. I'm just going to use it really quick to clear these guys off the screen. Okay. And this is a game where you need to hit and attack everything. So, like, this is one of those. Oh, I you expected... Oh, Jesus! Yeah, you can just yeah. go to town with your shuriken. Yeah. You have an unlimited amount, so... Yeah. Oh my god. What the hell? Uh, okay, first of all, I can't even see the very far left well, then of the screen. Move over here. Now I have to save you. Ah! Well, that was well timed. Now you wait, can't... it didn't kill them. What the shit? Well, I I don't know the the statistics of how things work. So this is a this wait. Is we a... can't hit each other, right? Like I, I'm not accidentally I don't hitting think you somehow. So. I'm oh temporarily invincible. Don't adjust your set. I was flashing for a reason. Shit, we missed a thingy. So you like were I, having a seizure. Like like I was trying to say, um, you can ow. Maybe we can hit each other, I don't know. Time stop. But uh if you save the uh the what's it's the uh, ninja scrolls, you can um when you use them, they all get used at once. You can stock up to four of them. Hmm. And the more you have, the stronger the attack. Well, that makes sense. So then. it's best to save them for like bosses and stuff. But like, if you're really getting like boned on like a screen or whatever, boned on a screen. Why am I on fire? I don't know why I did that. I did that on accident. But like, you can you have a couple different options. Why am I on fire? It's a little th shit. It's a little uh, whatever. Well, I, guess. I died. <laughs> don't question it. You're on fire. It wasn't hurting you. That I know of. Damn it! Damn it, Bobby! Like, I guess I can push you back, but I can't hurt you. Yeah. I haven't played this game in years. That's what so. it's looking like. I think the only thing that can hurt us are the actual enemies. I like how we have to ninja flip to the door. Like, we can't just walk over yeah. there like well, normal Yeah, well, we're ninjas. We, you gotta do it right. I love the doctor flailing his legs. Yeah. So, that thing that you got that, was, uh, that made you... Uh, Oh. Alright, uh, so now it's uh, boss uh, time. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Or it was going to be. <laughs> or JK. 
Well, we killed all the dudes. So okay, now it's boss time. Oh Jesus! Come what here, is guy. That? Come here, evil guy. Oh, I guess we're not fighting you in this level. Holy shit! I preferred you when you were a weird doctor flailing your legs. Thunderbolt. Zap! You have been zapped. And now we can just go to town on this guy. First boss of the game, pretty easy. He flinches at pretty much everything you do, so if we just wail yeah, on him... Yeah, uh, I'm hitting him with shurikens and we'll he's do, flinching. Uh, we'll be able to kick his ass pretty quick. And then he does that move. Oh, that killed us both. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we both only had one hit left, so... I'll, I will save you, pretty lady. Uh, no, no, come over here. Uh, uh, Why uh. are you with him? He tried to kill us. Ah! There round you one. are. You're up there. <laughs> Next round. So this game's kind of fast. How long is this episode then? Uh, six minutes. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Feel? Do you feel our power? I like to call that guy Duke Nukem. He looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger that's blonde. Chapter 2, The Satan of Flames. I thought that said The Stain of Flames. The which Stain would, of Flames. The would, Stain of Flames. Which would sound so much better. Can we ride motorcycles? No. no. We have to that climb. would be too cool. Rah! Rah! This is really strange. It is. But it's also one of the most fun experiences I've ever had playing a video game. Eep! Why are they throwing lamps at me? Why aren't you throwing lamps at them should be the question. You're actually the best character for this stage. Yeah, I noticed have, that. Uh, Their teeth are creepy. Yeah. Like arcade teeth with the black gaps in between. Jet water. Ugh. Ow. Also the Ninja Kid sounds they make. Like, when you get punched and it staggers you, you make a noise, you're like, ow. Ow. <laughs> it's the funniest. I just love all the little characteristic things about this game. I am throwing my shurikens the wrong direction. <gasps> Shifty eyes. Shifty eyes for mysterious purposes. I'm so hungry all of a sudden. Help! Let's I guess all save you. Oh, oh no. This is a bad guy, and he throws dynamite at us, so we want to kill him. So it's actually best to open all the doors, even if they're trapped. Uh, thanks, you, dear. Because you can get cool shit. Even if they're trapped, get lit on fire. Yeah. <laughs> Not a helpful place. What the shit is this, though? It's fun. I couldn't even give you a legitimate answer as to what it actually is, but it's fun. Like, this feels like a bad, uh, like a drug dream or something. Well, it is an arcade cabinet. <laughs> it was most likely made while and played while on drugs. Possibly. Oh, my, I love how my eyes pop out of my head when they hit me. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure that's not healthy, bruh. It's probably not. I'm gonna, in I fact, can't. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that it's not. What is going on to me? You got a dash ability, so what that'll do is you're on fire and you can damage I'm on you fire. fire! Fuck! <laughs> I was going to do a line and then. Oh god. I'm on fire! Whoa! Now we're gonna have Fallout Boy on our ass. Thanks. That's the last thing I wanted. You like boys on your ass. No, I don't. <laughs> what the hell did you come to that suspicion from? <gasps> Index finger my ass. No, okay. <laughs> There's a story there, and it's not what it sounds like. Do you want to explain said story? So I was playing uh, Final Fantasy IV The After Years. Well, technically, I guess it was the interlude, but uh, Final Fantasy IV The Interlude on the complete collection version for PSP. And, uh, because Final Fantasy IV is my favorite Final Fantasy of all time. A little Blaze fun fact there. So I'm playing it, and, uh, in the interlude, there's, uh, this section where you go to the sealed cave. And the sealed cave, if anybody knows, is a pain in the dick. In any version of Final Fantasy IV, it is a pain in the dick. So, this is the boss room. 
So um, I'm playing, and I'm in the sealed cave, and there are trap doors, and the trap doors turn into fucking flams most of the time. And you can't, in early Final Fantasy games, de attacking flam-type enemies with physical attacks is pointless. Because what it would do is, do one hit is it would do one damage. So, okay, never mind then. I guess I'll just have to keep my magic wielders and users alive. But that was really hard because the flam hit so damn hard. You oh, might want to get out of there, but uh, so you are you might actually want to use your magic on this guy. Even though your fire elemental, it'll still deal damage, so it's not that big a deal. Salamander. So anyway, all this is going on, and like, um, so I, I make it through the area, is the point of the story. So I make it through the area, and I'm like, well, that was a pain in the ass. So I get out to the airship where they're selling items and weapons and stuff. I'm like, well, I got a shit ton of money. Let's upgrade my armory a little bit. So, oops. So let's upgrade my equipment list a little bit. So I scroll down through the weapons. I'm like, okay, let's buy the ice brand for Cecil because I've only been using the mythical sword up till now and I could really use a weapon upgrade. So I'm just scrolling down through all the weapons to see what's in there. And there's this little thing down at the bottom that costs 10 gold. And I'm like, what is that? Da -na 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 -na. That's what it was. But I'm like, what the hell is this thing? So it's a $10 sword for Cecil that was stronger than my mithril sword called the Index Finger. That kills flans. That kills flans. And I'm like, Index Finger my asshole. Whoa. <laughs> and I'm saying this to myself. It's like four in the morning. And I'm like, okay, I know nobody was around to hear me, but even that was that was bad. Why, why'd you pause? Because it's been 12 minutes and your story went on too long. Oh, well, <laughs> not too long. This is opportune time. But we're actually going to end the episode here. And we are going to play through the whole thing, which won't take very long if yeah, we're this, already at this, level three. This game's like an hour and a half to beat. It's an arcade game, then it can't take that long. So thank you all for joining us for this first episode of the Ninja Kids. I hope you join us for the next one. And that's it. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>